Academy Awards, the 88th Annual, are past us now. We have finally witnessed what we needed to witness. Uh, awards were given out. Losers were crowned. Winners were crowned. Stuff like that. But no one is definitely a loser. It is an honor just to feel nominated. And yes, we finally have gotten our results back. And we have, we have seen screenplay awards be given out to, you know, the Big Short and Spotlight. Those were very, you know, well-deserved. Music category, uh, Sam Smith's Writings on the Wall beat The Weeknd's Earned It and Lady Gaga's song also. I heard that was probably like the more negative feedback of like the whole win. Maybe people wanted The Weeknd or Lady Gaga to win. And then, and then Mad Max for a while was sweeping everything from like editing, sound, costume. Seriously. Uh... I kind of wish Star Wars The Force Awakens would have won one. Like, I love this, the, the sound for Star Wars. I thought, you know, that probably deserved it. But, you know, it's probably me being biased. But I just wanted to see that movie take home one trophy at least. Ex Machina, though, I'm so glad. Because that movie is just a little darling. Not enough love was given. Even though a lot of people love it. I'm glad it took home one Oscar at least. I was so proud for Ex Machina. And then let's get on to the performances. The performances. Really, um, I didn't give a pre-show of what I thought who was going to win. But I honestly thought, you know, it could have been anybody's game. The supporting actress was stacked. Um, we could have had uh, Kate Winslet, Alicia Vikander. Who knows? I kind of thought maybe Kate Winslet would have won it. Maybe. Just because I don't know, she just stood next to Michael Fassbender. I thought she probably would have taken it. But... I kind of did want to see Alicia kind of win it, even though she was nominated for Danish Girl. You know, for my opinion, I thought you know that was more for Ex Machina. When I saw that she won it, I was like, yes, I'm so proud. I was not disappointed, even though I thought Kate was gonna win. But Alicia, she was, she was a personal favorite of mine. And then for the best supporting actor, I thought that also was like beast. It was just filled with a bunch of great performances. Tom Hardy, Mark Ruffalo, everybody, you know. And for that one, I honestly picked Sylvester Stone. I wanted him to win. He was the heart and soul of Creed. When I saw that Mark Rylance won it, I was like, yeah, I, I knew. He was really the one, even though Sly was coming in with all the wins, he was the one that kind of had it locked for the Oscars. You could just tell. Like Even when I saw his name in his photo, I was like, something tells me he's going to win. And he won it. Sly even like, I looked at his face. He even was like, yep, yeah, well deserved. But my goodness, I wish Sly had would have wanted that was probably the only one that i was disappointed um, for me personally just everybody has their own opinion on who i wanted to win the best actress category honestly that just went to brie larson she had it locked maybe clay blanchett could have been like the upset of the list but it was brie larson's night for the best actress nominations and then uh and then for the best director alejandro gonzalez in her e2 takes it home for the second consecutive time it could have been you know for me honestly i probably might have picked george miller now like just that movie more and more i think of it it is a work of art he probably would have been my favorite but alejandro gonzalez and Ritu was to me like my second choice or my 1a to 1b of both because he it, it, at first, you knew he was going to win it. Like He was the talk of the town for best directors. Maybe Tom McCarty of Spotlight, but that kind of drifted away now. But he nearly to deserved it. He, it, was, it was absolutely amazing. It was breathtaking Like how he shot everything in natural light. So I wasn't too surprised with Nuri too. It would have been a shocker, though, if Miller would have taken it home. But yeah, so I'm proud of that. The best picture, though, this is a little bit different. Even though it was getting recognition for a little back in like the fall i thought everything went away from that movie now but once i saw that it came up i was surprised but i kind of knew because it's just you know it was one of the three movies being talked about and spotlight takes home best picture seriously i thought it was a a neck and neck with revenant versus free road but spotlight i thought was that wild card and spotlight did come in and take it it, it was being talked you know for a while you know with the ensemble cast of direction so Really, even though it was, you know, from time to time, as one of the top three movies to see if it would win Best Picture at these awards, I still was surprised. I was like, whoa, whoa. I thought maybe Furu would have taken it, or The Revenant was going to be the shoe to win. But no, Spotlight. And can't complain. It wasn't probably my fair movie of the year, but it was darn good film. It, I could see, you know, 
the craftsmanship that was built there and the ensemble cast was amazing. And then let's get to the one that everybody wanted to talk about. It was the storyline coming into the Oscars. Leonardo DiCaprio finally wins his Academy Award for Best Actor. This is an award that was been used as memes. It's like, when are they going to give him an award? We should petition to just hand him an award because he's deserved it from all his performances, from Gilbert Grape all the way to Django and Chain. So people were begging for him to finally take it for once. And I thought, I was like, maybe in the last moment, minute, second, they were going to announce that Michael Fassner was going to win it. Because he probably was my pick, but I knew that Leonardo DiCaprio was going to win it, and he really deserves it. He did a great, he did a great job in The Revenant. I just thought maybe Michael Fassbender is going to take it home. Who we'll watch it? We'll, and we're, we're going to have to wait another year, and it's going to cause like all this like what the f moments. And but no, they just just announced it. Leonardo DiCaprio were like, yes, he won it. So now he has gone over the hump. He has won this. Not just for The Revenant, but all those other performances. Wolf of Wall Street, The Departed, uh, Jango and Chain, everything, you name it. It, it, it. It's like, you know, when Martin Scorsese finally got that award, he'd been, he been so rightfully deserved from, you know, years before in The Departed. Now, Leonardo DiCaprio's got his for The Revenant. But yes, those are just my little ideas, thoughts of what I thought of the Oscars. I thought it was a pretty good Oscar. Really, it's just... The only one that I thought should have won was Sylvester Stallone, but Mark Rylance, I heard he did a good job. You know, you can't take away that spotlight from him. He deserved it. You know, at least, at least all the wins they have gotten this year, they all deserve the Academy Award trophies that they were presented to them. Just wanted to say a little bit about the host, Chris Rock. I thought he did a great, amazing job. He tackled whatever he could of the controversies with Oscar so white, whatever. He... Is amazing. He, the jokes did not, for me, not, you know, land on my head, like, too much. Like, he, they didn't over milk it or whatever. I thought it was just perfect. It was a blend of, you know, talking about the controversy, talk, celebrating movies. It, he, he just did a good job balancing everything out. I wanted to just give a quick sh like, shout out, like, Louis C.K. I thought he kind of stole the show with his monologue for, like, best documentary on how, like, this to them means a lot. And then he's saying, like, Mad Max is the winner. I was like, I thought that was so good. I was like, this is why he's one of my favorite comedians t uh, today. And, yes, that's all, guys, what I thought. Let me know if you guys love the Academy Awards 88 Annual or did you hate it. Every opinion is subjective, guys. So, Roland Empire, until 1 billion subscribers, guys. Lab, smile, repeat.